Tomorrow is officially Veterans Day. Yeah, but SpaceX is paying tribute uh, today, sending its veterans on a new mission. CBS2's oh. Cara Finstrom is live at the campus in Hawthorne. Cara, hi. Mm -hmm. And what a new mission, Jeff. SpaceX behind us here, they build rocket ships, and they say veterans are uniquely qualified to do it. So here in Hawthorne, SpaceX has employed hundreds from all branches of the military. Served the United States Air Force six years, worked on F-15, F-16 fighter jets. And um, one day they put the name on the side of the building, and I applied online, and the rest is history. David has been with SpaceX nine years. He's wearing this year's tribute T-shirt. The company designs a new one every year for Veterans Day. And take a look at how many they've got to turn out. These are all U.S. veterans working here at the Hawthorne plant. SpaceX also took pictures of their veterans at their facilities in Vandenberg, McGregor, Texas, and Cape Canaveral. They say at least 13% of their staff has served. That is more than double what is required by the government for certain U.S. contracts. As far as why they have such large numbers of military, SpaceX says the stars just lined up here. Military men and women have the skill sets needed to build rocket ships. David says all the systems he worked on in fighter jets from engines to landing gear, well, they're in rockets too. He also tells us he's found something else here, a new mission and support. There's something about the camaraderie that you have with other other veterans. It doesn't matter what department, doesn't matter what site, doesn't matter what building. Uh, there's veterans everywhere. And we just look at each other and all it takes is this one look and you know. SpaceX has also become part of Mayor Eric Garcetti's Veterans Hiring Initiative. Its goal was to get 10,000 veterans across the region full-time jobs by the end of 2017. And the mayor's office says with the help of SpaceX and about 200 other companies, they have now surpassed that. Jeff and Sharon, coming up in our next half hour, we'll hear from some more veterans working here at SpaceX. One of them tells us it is nothing, is like nothing else to watch a rocket that's been built here go up into space. I bet.